Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Flora if you've never been here before, but if you already know me, then hey, what's up? Thank you for watching this video. It is the first Monday of 2022, so I wanted to come up here and show you guys how I reorganize or clean my apartment usually every Monday, but especially today, I feel like it's more special because it's the first Monday of 2022 and happy new year <laughs> i don't think i've said that but happy new year i hope that you guys had an amazing christmas and an amazing new year's uh, with your family and your friends or by yourself whatever your traditions are whatever you what makes you happy i hope that you had a great time and that you you and your family are safe and happy so First Monday of 2022, pues vamos a ver con ganas this year, you guys. I need to write down my my goals and my resolutions. Let's get started. Let's go. First of all, I am gonna shower and I'm gonna show you guys how I blow dry my hair. I did I did get a haircut earlier um, in December, so I'm gonna show you guys how I blow dry my hair because I got like bangs or whatever. But anyway, my hair now looks kind of gross because I need to get in the shower. Okay. First of all, I washed my face this morning and I showered, so I am going to be putting on a daily facial moisturizer with SPF 35 and it's from Cetaphil. So, and I'm also going to be adding a few drops of this um, Ordinary Serum. I used this morning and night. So I'm going to put a little bit of the serum, especially on my nose and everywhere. And then I'm going to put on the moisturizer. And that's when I'm gonna go in with this um, live-in conditioner from Monat. One of my cousins um, works with Monat and she sent this to me. I've been using it and I noticed that when I use it, my hair is less frizzy. Um, when I blow dry my hair and I have this on, my hair is a lot less frizzy um, when I use it. So I also use this smooth blow dry anti-freeze. And I usually like blow dry my hair once or twice a week and I just style it um, after that. Like every day, like I just retouch it. Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like after I blow it out. After I blow out or after like I blow dry it basically. So I use a round a round brush because I find it more that it helps with frizziness and it helps with um, making my hair look more shiny than if I were just to use a regular brush. So, and I also mentioned to you guys that I got a haircut earlier um, in December. Um, so I got like bangs, um, like longer curtain bangs. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm, I'm thinking about going a little bit shorter um, because my hair right now, it's in the journey of growing. <laughs> so I feel like if it's just all one length straight, it's kind of boring so that's why I, I wanted to give it some definition and some little a little a little some stuff so okay you guys no me juzguen what the hell I think I just scratched myself okay so I am wearing um, I'm wearing some shorts 
and just a big t-shirt, comfy shoes to stay home because, you know, we want to be comfy. So, yeah, that is my outfit for home. So, okay, so as you guys can see behind me, <laughs> We watched the covers last night, so now we have to put it back on, and it's such a pain in the ass, and it's such a freaking like struggle. But we get the couch pretty dirty sometimes, and I cannot stand a dirty couch. So we watched them last night, and ahora pues toca ponerlos de regreso porque I cannot sit on them without covers, obviously. So enjoy me, enjoy watching me struggle putting that shit back on. So let's go. Okay guys, so it's been a few hours later and I vacuumed, I swept, I mopped, I washed the dishes. Um, I have some stuff sitting on the sink right now con le puse hacks because if you know, you know, a hacks um, can get rid of anything. So I am um, I'm waiting on that. I did the laundry. Um, I put the like the the rugs, the bathroom rugs, and some um, like uh, kitchen rugs. I clerk them. They're in the washer right now, so everything is white and nice and clean in the bathroom, in the kitchen. Uh, as you guys can see, like the couch is already cleaned um, and it's all set. My boyfriend came right on time to help me with it and. I am just chilling right now, waiting on the dishes que tienen a hacks and también, en, también para sacar las carpetas de la washer, put it in the dryer because it's a whole process. So uh, now that my whole apartment is clean, I want to show you guys a few things that I got for to do facials at home for like my close friends if they ever want me to do their their. Um, Facials, um, so everything is from Amazon. So the first thing that I got right now, it's folded, but it's like a spa bed. And then I got this lamp. It's um, it's a magnifying lamp, and it's really really nice. I love it. And then I also got the hot towel, and it's nice. And I got this little shelf as well from Amazon. And this is where I put my product, the water. I disinfect everything before and after, my masks, my gloves. I also got a steamer, a really simple, cute steamer. So this is what I have going on. It's a little bit messy right now because I actually just got done doing um, lash extensions. And I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like now. So. This is what the lash extensions look like. I'm pretty sure that you can tell which ones I've done. Like the left, this eye, this eye is finished. This eye is not. So my very, very first time doing lashes. This is what it looks like. I just followed the shape of the lashes so i didn't do anything crazy just follow the shape and then something natural something classic that's how they look like so as um if you guys don't know like i'm in institution school and uh, yeah it's very very fun i am truly like i am enjoying it so much and i 
feel very very excited for the future and for to do what I like you know and I'm excited and I'm so happy I can't wait until I graduate and get a job um, so yeah um, I also want to talk to you guys about my fitness like fitness journey or whatever like I know that I have posted a few videos of me working now and have mentioned that you know like I was pretty much doing it doing it very constantly consistently um, for a few months and so last year 2021 I tried to lose weight and I did I did lose 15 to 20 pounds I don't remember exactly but I'm gonna insert pictures here I achieved my goal I was kind of like okay so what now you know like I lost 15 pounds I feel great like I feel like this is this is my this is how much I'm supposed to weigh <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but I felt good on my body like I felt I didn't feel so heavy for my height because I'm 5'1 and um, at some point I was 135 and now I'm now that, that when I lost the 15 pounds I went down to 115 so one 112 115 depending on the day um, you know it everything affects your weight obviously so just look just take pictures that's the best way to to know that that if you're losing weight or not not really the scale but um, so I lost 15 pounds and then um, I kind of just lost the motivation I lost the drive I think because I had already achieved my goal so now now what you know so for a few months I was kind of just maintaining I, I I'm still am yeah, maintaining my weight I'm still it varies from 112 to 115 um, and I'm going to the gym here and there like I'm not consistent at all whatsoever um, the thing that has helped me maintain my weight is that now I am very busy like I am on my feet all day every day so I'm in school and I'm walking like I'm not just sitting there like I'm, I'm walking and keeping myself busy and then I'm a server I'm a waitress so I walk a lot on the weekends so that's what's been helping me and I'm, I also don't have a lot of time to eat a lot like when I used to work at a, at a Monday through Friday 8 to 5 job I had all my meals and I would eat out a lot and I would just sit there at the bank like literally like I barely even moved so now that I'm being busy that I'm keeping myself busy like walking doing stuff it's kind of like it's helping me maintain my weight because I'm not gaining weight at all and but I'm also keeping I'm also paying attention to what I eat I'm not being super strict with myself I'm not counting calories I am not tracking anything whatsoever I am just doing what my body tells me like I'm just listening to my body basically and I am taking it one step at a time because being being in school full-time and having a part-time job and then having family a boyfriend and apartment to take care to take care of it can be kind of overwhelming sometimes but I don't I don't want to blame that like I'm also not as motivated as I used to be you know I lost this 15 pounds and I look and I, and I thought I looked good like and I still do think I look good so now I feel like I need a goal I need something to I need a drive I need some motive, some kind of motivation to keep on going to the gym to keep myself busy to keep myself moving because honestly like it's at the end of the day we do this because yeah we want to grow up boy or we want to be stronger or whatever but it's also like physical health is very important to me because I want to live a long-lasting healthy life um so when i'm old i'm not like super weak you know i know that's gonna happen regardless i think but anyway i'm trying to do whatever it takes what's the best that i can do right now to take care of myself to take care of myself mentally and physically and so that i can also pass it on to my children one day um anyway now i'm just rumbling so that's the update on my fitness i'm trying to set a routine i also need somebody to come with me <laughs> because i feel like my, now mine and my boyfriend's schedules are all over the place like we don't we can't go to the gym together anymore so that's kind of had an effect on me and him as well because the the, the day that the time that we do get to spend together we want to spend it together at home or doing something fun we don't want to like 
it's been their only time that we have together at the gym if that makes sense um so yeah like um i think i need to really write down a goal because right now i'm just kind of like all over the place so it's in the loca you know and i i need to stop i need to write down a goal and go for it so that i can be physically active again so with that being said um so yeah i think i caught you guys up i cut up on everything so i told you guys about my fitness and then my esthetician how it's going i loving it i'm so excited to do it i'm so excited to graduate um i graduated in march so that's that i'm very excited i can't believe it's already gonna be march and it's almost my birthday in february it's my birthday so yay um so yeah you guys i don't know what else i feel like i'm missing something that i had to say so now my apartment is clean it's a monday the first monday of 2022 and we're starting on a good foot i am actually waiting on one of my friends right now um, I'm actually waiting on uh, my boyfriend, my brother's girlfriend. She, um, uh, she's coming to the gym with me today, so we're gonna go here in just a little bit at 2:30. And yeah. I'm okay, you guys. So I went to the gym, as I mentioned, with my um, brother's girlfriend, and I just got back and I showered, and I'm all, I'm all. I feel so much better that I went and I'm so proud of myself for pushing myself and going. Thank you so much, Jessica, for coming with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.